we're meeting the newsmakers, the people behind some of these major headlines about UFOs, about sightings that cannot be explained lately. And our next guest is a renowned astrophysicist. His name is Adam Frank. Not only believes that there is life outside of our planet, but in his headline-making new book, it's called The Little Book of Aliens. Oh, boy. He says that we're on the verge of proving it once and for all. Please welcome to the TAM fam, Adam Frank. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Okay. So, Adam, I'm happy you're here because you are the scientist. You are the man with... The, this brain and the knowledge. I am the person with insomnia who stays up and has visualized the alien is very different than our life. So I'm happy you're here because it'll wrangle in, again, some of the skepticism of people who might say, what, there are so many things you could be doing with this hour, this is nonsense. But you recently wrote a piece for The Atlantic, a very credible publication, and you said, in the thousands of years that people have been arguing about whether life exists elsewhere in the universe, one thing has been constant. No one really has a clue, but not anymore. And just this week, the European Space Agency released the first images from its powerful Euclid telescope, which launched in space in July. This technology advances us to, a, to where you believe we are, which is identifying other life, not aliens, but other life. Right. How do you explain it from a science perspective of where we are? Well, you know, after 30 years of being an astrophysicist and studying everything from stars to planets, what I, why I wrote this book is I wanted people to understand how close we are scientifically using telescopes like Euclid or the James Webb Space Telescope, how close we are to discovering evidence that will tell us about life, not in our alien life, not in our skies, but in planets mm -hmm. orbiting stars billions of, you know, of, of miles, trillions of miles away. And it's extraordinary that we're at this moment now where we can do this. We have the technology to see aliens, alien life on alien worlds. You um, have been a professor at the University of Rochester studying astrophysics for um, three decades. Yeah. Um, in 20, 2019, NASA recruited you to search for signs of advanced civilization on other planets. You do know in the movies, it starts with you guys messing up, right? You do know. That's right. <laughs> the scientist goes in search, and, and we all mistake. pay. We all pay. Um, but in seriousness, you say that the human species is poised at the edge of its greatest and most important journey. What journey is that? This is something that's amazing. Every star you see in the sky when you go out at night has a family of planets around it. We didn't even know that 20 years ago. And every, if you count up five of them, one of them is in the right place for life to form. So what we have now is the ability to use telescopes like the James Webb or uh, um, some of the new ones that are yeah. coming out to see into their atmospheres. And we can tell, we call it a techno or bio signature. In the light from the star, there's an imprint, it's like a fingerprint, that tells us, oh, oh, there's oxygen in that atmosphere. And so, for example, oxygen would not be in Earth's atmosphere if it wasn't for life. Right. So if we find oxygen in the atmosphere of an alien world, it tells us there's forests and microbes and all kinds of, you know, life, uh, you know, there. Life there. In the book, you, chapter seven of the book is called, What Will We Find When We Find Aliens? And in the book, you basically say, was this the first chapter you opened when you picked up the book? I'm not judging, I'm just saying. Because, I mean, that to me would be the logical question. I'm guilty of that. I am guilty of going to the alien part of the story right. and wondering what this thing would look like. Right. That's the impression left because we watch so many sci-fi films. That's what it is, that's what it is. I grew up on those sci-fi yes, films, yeah. I love those sci-fi films, but the thing that if you apply, and this is what I wanted to show in the book, if you try and apply Yeah, that's aspects, me. Yeah, right, with the point of ears, well, right? First of all, why do you, where do you think I got my hair cut from? I was like, geez. Looks better on Right, you. thank you, that's where I got my hair cut. Um, so if you apply what we understand about evolution, which is quite a bit, yeah. what you realize is that, sure, there are some things that we might expect to be same. On Earth, for example, mm -hmm. wings have evolved like three different times from yeah. totally different mm -hmm. species. Um, but so that's what we call convergence. So yeah, you'll expect wings, you'll expect legs. Mm -hmm. Legs make sense if you're trying to you know, move around, get yeah. food. And so the important thing to understand is we're the only humans or humanoids mm -hmm. in the universe. You're just not going to get the same sequence right. of accidents that will lead to like, you know, two shoulders, arms, legs. Yeah. Um, and so we should expect to be surprised and maybe a little grossed out. 
when we find when we find. Oh gosh! Well, Adam, thank you so much. You. Adam's book, The Little Book of Aliens. I love that title. It's available now. Guess what? You're all going home with your own copy to read and believe for yourself.